Lena and Samir grew up in the same town, but they couldn't have come from more different backgrounds. Lena was a white, Christian girl from a wealthy family, while Samir was a Muslim boy from a working-class immigrant family. Despite their differences, Lena and Samir fell in love when they were both teenagers. They kept their relationship secret, sneaking around town to steal kisses and spend stolen moments together. They knew that their families would never approve of their relationship, but they were young and in love, and they thought that their love could conquer all. However, as they got older, the pressures of their respective families and communities started to wear on them. Lena's parents were appalled when they found out about her relationship with Samir, and they forbade her from seeing him again. Samir's family was no better, telling him that he had to marry someone from his own community and religion. Lena and Samir tried to stay away from each other, but they couldn't. They were in love, and their love only grew stronger as the days passed. They started to meet in secret, even though they knew it was dangerous. One night, they were caught by Lena's father. He was furious and demanded that she break off her relationship with Samir. When Lena refused, he disowned her and threw her out of the house. Lena and Samir were forced to leave their town and start a new life together. They moved to a nearby city, where they tried to make a new life for themselves. However, they were constantly looked down upon by the people around them, who judged them for their different backgrounds and religions. Their relationship became more and more strained, as they struggled to make ends meet and deal with the constant rejection from their families and society. Eventually, Lena became ill and had to be hospitalized. Samir stayed by her side, but he was consumed by grief and despair. As Lena lay lifeless in Samir's arms, he couldn't bear the thought of living without her. He begged and pleaded with her to come back to him, but it was too late. Just as he was about to give up hope, he remembered something that his grandmother had told him when he was a child. She had spoken of a powerful and mysterious healing ritual that had been passed down through generations of their family. It was said to be able to bring the dead back to life, but it had never been performed successfully in modern times. Desperate for any glimmer of hope, Samir decided to try the ritual. He enlisted the help of his grandmother, who had performed it once before in her youth. Together, they gathered the necessary herbs and spices, and performed the intricate ritual that lasted for hours. As the ritual came to an end, Lena's body began to stir. At first, Samir thought he was imagining things, but then he saw her eyes flutter open. He couldn't believe it, his love had been brought back from the dead. Lena was weak and disoriented at first, but as she regained her strength, she and Samir knew that they had been given a second chance at life and love. They moved away from the judgmental town they had called home and started a new life together, free from the prejudices and constraints that had once held them back. Their relationship was stronger than ever, and they cherished every moment together, knowing that they had been given a gift that few others had ever received. They lived the rest of their lives together, never forgetting the miracle that had brought them back together and the love that had kept them together.